Hello and welcome student. Today we will discuss on the topic size separation. Particles of numerous sorts and different sizes have assumed an imperative part in man's connection with his physical surroundings. In particles, where spherical or cubical, it would be easy to characterize them. Unfortunately, the majority of particles present in our surroundings are of sporadic size and shape. Therefore, it is desirable to create procedure and methods to describe particles of unpredictable size and shape and this is the main objective of particle size analysis. Moreover, molecule size examination is vital in studying particle behavior in medium as numerous expository sciences, modern application and industrial applications. Sieving is an obvious and most widely used technique for particle size analysis. The particles are classified based on size independent of any other particle characteristic such as density, surface properties. Now, range of analysis. Micromesh sieves are used to classify particles of size range 5 to 20 micrometer while particles of size range 20 to 125 micrometer are classified in the standard woven wire sieves. Coarse particles are classified in punch plate sieves. Punch plate sieves are commonly used in industrial applications where the openings are circular or rectangular in the sieves. The sieves can take different configurations. This image shows different varieties of sieves utilized during sieve analysis. The image describes size and diameter which are used during analysis. The international standard organization sets lowest sieve diameter of 45 mm. Powders are usually defined as particles having maximum diameter of 1000 mm. Hence, the upper limit is set as 1000 micrometer. In particle sieve analysis can be done over a range of 5 to 1 lakh 25,000 mm. Now we will go on principle of measurement with sieves. Sieves analysis utilize a set of sieves. Each sieve woven, punched or electroformed mesh often in brass or stainless steel with known aperture diameter which form a physical barrier to the particles. In sieve analysis, a set of sieves are arranged in such a way that the smallest aperture will be at the bottom and the largest aperture will be on the top. A sieve nest usually comprises 6 to 8 sieves with an aperture progression based on diameter between adjacent sieves. Sieves are of different sizes. The sizes depend on the matter that is analyzed or to be particles. Initial weight of powder sample was taken on the first sieve. The sieve set was closed and shaking was started. After shaking for a stupid time, the sieve set was taken out, all the sieves were disassembled and the powder retained on each sieve was collected. The image shows different varieties of sieves utilized during sieve analysis. The image describes size and diameter which are used during analysis. Now we will go on standards of sieves. It is required that wire mesh sieves will be made from wire of uniform circular cross section or for each sieve following particles are stated. Number of sieves. This is the number of mesh in a length of 25.4 mm in each direction. Nominal size aperture. This is the distance between a wire 
so that it represent the length and the size of square aperture nominal diameter of the wire the wire diameter is selected to give a suitable aperture size it is also required to give necessary strength to avoid distortion distortion is a basic avoidable thing because particle size changes during sieve analysis that should be avoided during sieve analysis for perfect analysis the diameter of the wire is represented by standard wire gauze now another definition is approximate screen area it is an important criteria of sieve analysis when you will say screen area it includes diameter and separation area of the screen this standard expresses the area of meshes as percentage of the total area of the sieve it is governed by diameter of the wire it is generally kept within 35 to 45% of total area of the sieve this represent useful area of sieve the greater screen area is always preferred over the narrower area of the sieve now you have seen on your screen tyler standard screen scale which shows different dimensions these dimensions have a specific configuration that utilizes during the sieve analysis these configuration actually sets clear opening of mesh size and related wire diameter for example if you are taking mesh size 3 clear opening should be 6.680 and wire diameter should be 1.778 mm likewise when you go to higher mesh size that is 200 the clear opening goes narrower that is 0.074 and the wire diameter still become thinner that is 0.53 we will go on to methods of sieve analysis The choice of methods for carrying out sieve analysis depends on the material to be measured. Generally, the material is based on its dryness, texture, and what is the criteria of the specification sieve analysis. Following are the methods which employed for sieve analysis. First, throw action sieving. Here. a throwing motion acts on the sample the vertical throwing motion is overlaid with a slight circular motion which results in the distribution of the sample amount over the whole sieving surface the particles are accelerated in very vertical directions in the air they carry out free rotations and interact with openings in mesh of the sieve when they fall back if the particles are smaller then the openings they pass through the sieve if they are larger they are thrown upwards again the another method is horizontal sieving in a horizontal sieve shaker the sieve stack moves in horizontal circles in a plane horizontal sieve shakers are preferably used for needle shaped flat long or fibrous samples as their horizontal orientation means that only a few distorted particles enter the mesh and the sieve is not blocked so quickly next method is tapping sieving a horizontal circular motion overlies a vertical motion which is created by tapping impulse this motional process are characteristic of hand sieving and produces higher degree of sieving for denser particles next method is supersonic sieving this method is generally employed in industries and widely used for particle size analysis the particles are lifted and forcibly dropped on the column of oscillating air at a frequency of thousands of cycles per minute sonic sievers are able to handle much finer dry powders than woven mesh screens wet sieving 
A wet sieving process is set up like a dry process. The sieve stacks is clamped on the sieve shaker and the sample is placed on the top of sieve. Above the top of sieve, a water spray nozzle is placed which is supports the sieving process additionally to the sieving motion. The rinsing is carried out until the liquid which is discharged through the receiver is clear. Sample residue on the sieves have to be dried and weighted. When it comes to weight saving, it is very important not to change to sample in its volume. Air circular jet saving. Air jet saving machines are ideally suited for very fine powders which tend to agglomerate and cannot be separated by vibrational sieving. The reason for the effectiveness of this sieving method is based on two components. First, a rotating slotted nozzle inside the sieving chamber and a powerful industrial vacuum cleaner which is connected to the chamber. The vacuum cleaner generates a vacuum inside the sieving chamber and sucks a fresh and through the slotted nozzle. When passing the narrow slit of the nozzle, the air stream is accelerated and blown against the sieve mesh, dispersing the particles. Above the mesh, the air jet is distributed over the complete sieve surface and stuck in which low speed through the sieve mesh. Thus, the finer particles are transported through the mesh openings into the vacuum cleaner. The foremost equipment is oscillating tray shifter. The principle behind oscillating tray shifter is oscillating tray shifters works on oscillating agitation by means of an eccentric mechanism. Further, vibration are caused by rubber balls. The construction of these machines include set of screens which are slightly inclined at 5 degrees of horizontal axis. Each screen set is double layered. The upper screen is of fixed size and the lower one is coarser scale, which is a supporting sieve. Between these two screens, wooden blocks are placed at different intervals. Between the wooden blocks, rubber balls are placed these two sieve system represent one unit. Several such units are arranged in the descending order. That is, sieve or larger size opening remains at the top and the finer size opening remains at the bottom. The overall assembly of screens is supported on sliding contacts at the lower end. The upper end of the screen system is connected to a eccentric pin on a flywheel. The working of the system includes the screen system is allowed to agitate with the help of eccentric. The shaking motion of a screen causes the balls to fly between the screens as they strike on the inclined surface of the wooden blocks. The balls are deflected upwards and the strike the screen cloth and thus prevent blocking of the mesh. The feed is introduced at the higher end of the screen. The material passes through the upper screen and reaches to the next screen. This process continues until all the materials are separated into the fraction. The fractions are collected separately at the outlet point. Application of the systems include it is used for handling variety of dry powders, granules and dry fruits. Another equipment that use for size separation is cyclone separator. Cyclone separator work on the principle of centrifugal force. In cyclone separator, centrifugal force is used to separate solid from fluids. The separation process depends on particle size particle density. It is also possible 
to allow fine particles to be carried out with fluid the construction the equipment consists of a short vertical cylinder vessel with a conical base the upper part of vessel is fitted with a tangential inlet the solid outlet is at the base fluid outlet is provided at the center of the top portion which extend inwardly into the separator such an arrangement prevents the air short circulating direction with inlet to the outlet working of cyclone separator the solids to be isolated are suspended in a flood of liquid such anchorage is presented tangentially at a high speed so that rotating development happens inside the vessel the diffuse power tosses the particles to the mass of vessel as the velocity of liquid reduces the particle tumble to the base and gathered at the strong outlet the liquid can escape from the focal outlet at the top cyclone separators are used to separate solid particles from gases it is also used for size separation of solids in liquid it is used to separate the heavy and coarse fraction of the fine dust the another equipment is known as gyratory shifter the principle of gyratory shifter includes the shifting machine consists of a horizontal screen to which gyratory movement of a great intensity in a small amplitude is imparted by eccentric mechanism every particle is given a rotatory movement on one axis and a second rotatory movement on another axis at right angle to the first construction of this machine includes screens are fitted on a level plane the top most has the largest opening and the bottom one will have finer opening the overall assembly is given gyratory motion by eccentric mechanism clearing gates are fitted at one side of the periphery and its working started the feed is presented at the focal point of the screen and the gyratory movement drives the bigger size to the outskirts of the screen where it is released through a clearing door set in upright side of the strainer in some devices a spiral strip of metal is welded to the screen the bigger size passes dynamically from the middle to the outskirts the control of particle size and size reaches is of awesome significance in pharmaceutical industries in spite of the fact the different shots of machines are utilized for size lessening it is a bit much that they will deliver the wanted size particles and of uniform size any strong material after size lessening never gives particle of a same size however contain particles of to some degree fluctuating size to control the particle size distribution the size reduces material must be filtered to get fraction of narrower size ranges the desired fractions are finally mixed if necessary in such a way to get powder having the needed average particle size thus one can say that size separation is usually an integral part of size reduction in industrial pharmacy